Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by my channel. In today's video, you're in for a treat. I am over at my sister's house decluttering and helping them clean up after Christmas. This was a couple of weeks into January, but they had just gotten back from seeing in-laws who dropped off more gifts and it was starting to take over their family room and main living space of their house. So today you'll get to see me clean, declutter, organize all those gifts and get their house back in tip top shape. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. What I got started with right away was putting away extra blankets and clearing off the couch. After that, I needed to sort through the piles of gifts that they had received. They had all been kind of slightly sorted, but I went ahead and just used a couple bins that were lying around to make piles of gifts I knew they were definitely keeping. That way they would be easy to transport upstairs so that they could actually start to be put away and organized into the spaces they would live in in the house long term. Um, so I definitely recommend that. If you are facing a big room that you're gonna have to organize, take the time to start with things you know are going to have a place that you can go ahead and move out of whatever the cluttered room is and into a place they will actually have in the home. This was fairly easy to do and pretty quick. The pile of gifts looked big, but once I actually started to sort through it, it was pretty fast to go ahead and figure out, okay, what are they keeping and what is the return pile gonna look like? I also made sure for anything that they were unsure about or were gonna return, I went ahead and just put those into their own tote bag so that they could easily transport that if it was all ready to be returned back to the store. And if not, they had everything in one um, bag so that they would be able to go back through it, sort, figure out if they wanted to keep it or not. The next area I tackled was everything that was sitting on the ledge of the fireplace. These were mostly receipts, things that might need to be returned or receipts they were keeping for gifts they had given. So I went ahead and just took time to organize them and clip them together with a post-it note labeled Christmas Receipts 2021 so that they could all be stored over in their desk area, um, but they would be easily able to find any receipts if they came across anything that needed to be returned or talked to anybody and needed to find a gift receipt in the future. Baby, even if I try and try too hard, nothing's ever enough. Even if I try and try too hard, tell me what to do, say anything. After I cleared all the gifts out of the family room, I went ahead and cleared the ottoman out of the way and spent some time vacuuming this rug, just clearing up any dust and dirt that had gathered from having this room be full of stuff for a while. My sister and her husband recently got a Dyson V10 Absolute Cyclone vacuum. Really enjoy it. I am still kind of playing around with it, trying out different attachments whenever I am over cleaning at their house. Um, I did film a full review of this vacuum. If you wanna check that out, I will link that video in the description and add a card here so you can click um, in the top right corner of the video and link to the review video. If you want to see me test out the full variety of attachments that come with this vacuum and see what I liked about it and what I would change. area that I spent time cleaning, decluttering, and organizing 
was that this storage system they have kind of on the side of their family room between the kitchen and the family room. It is in a central location in the house, so it often becomes a dumping ground for mail as it comes in or just things that they are using around the house. Um, so I spent some time reorganizing everything, getting rid of and moving things that were not supposed to be sitting on that um, and storing some things that had been out and about in the family room into the shelving below. I don't know if everybody else struggles with this or if you guys have figured out storage systems that work, but gosh, wrapping items seem to take over all the time. Wrapping paper, bags, tissue paper, different boxes. So when you're packing up everything after, especially a round of holidays or a round of birthdays, it can really get to be quite a lot. You realize how much you have collected. So I wanted to spend some time reorganizing my sister's wrapping bin organizing things like the gift bags by type. So Christmas versus birthdays versus weddings. Um, I also tried to sort all of the boxes inside one another so that they took up less space overall, but that she would still have an easy box or two to go to to find any gift wrapping boxes that she needed. So sometimes it is nice to take everything out of a bin you have for a certain item type, go through everything, figure out what you need to keep, toss, and then organize it all back together can be really satisfying. I went to put the wrapping box back in their kind of closet pantry area they have. And by doing that, started to take things out of the bottom of the closet and I realized, you know, there's a little bit of organizing that I wanna do in the closet as well. So what should have just been putting a box back turned into a mini organization project of its own. Nothing crazy, but just sorting through what they've got in that pantry. Um, organizing it and making it look a little bit neater so that they can easily find cleaning supplies, extra paper products, or anything that they're looking for.
last thing that I did was finish up by vacuuming the rest of their family room and living space outside of the carpet that I had already vacuumed before, just to make sure now that everything was picked up, decluttered, and put away, that their floors were nice and clean to come home to. Thanks for joining me for this cleaning, decluttering, and organization video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed already, be sure to click that link below so that you can follow along for more. I will see you guys next time.